Good afternoon and welcome to Northwest News at 3 o'clock. I'm Ben Ward. For it was at this bay that 23 Chinese immigrants had gone out cockle picking, when at around half past nine that night, they soon became swamped by the incoming tide and then alerted the authorities. But it was a lack of English language that confused the authorities. The workers are in the UK illegally working for just 9p per kilogram of cockles. And the ringleader, Lin Liang, was later convicted of manslaughter. But the thing that's plaguing the region's cars isn't other drivers or faulty motors. It's something as simple as potholes. Yes, potholes are causing damage to people's cars. And it is for that reason why many people are angry at the state of Lancashire's roads. Sir Tom Finney's final resting place has been confirmed by Preston City Council. The service will take place in Preston's St John's Minster. But it is here which is particularly poignant, where Sir Tom's memory will never be forgotten. Which is why Thursday's funeral procession is starting from Sir Tom's spiritual home. Our 45-year-old builder, James Whitehouse, abducted, raped and murdered a Blackburn schoolgirl aged 11. Mr Whitehouse followed and stalked the schoolgirl, befriending her in the process, when, on the 10th of April of this year, he forced the schoolgirl into his car and then raped and recorded this. He then murdered her. Nowhere is more significant than here at Preston train station. The station is by and large as it was during the Great War and it helped move ammunition to the front line. But that isn't the only unique point about this station. Alan Englishby is a former railway worker and now historian. He told me how this station became infamous to the British Tommy. And that's it for now. You've been watching Northwest News. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.